going to be our third class because yesterday we had two classes. And our lesson today is new lesson. So you have to be very careful. Our lesson is addition. You know how to add already. One plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four. Three plus three equals six. Okay. Be quiet, please. Six plus six equals 12. Ah, so it's so easy. So our lesson, as you see on the white screen, on the screen is addition. Oh, it's very noisy. Okay, let me see. I'm going to mute you all. Okay. So addition, what do you know about addition? Of course, one plus one equals two. Two plus two equals three. Okay, so we start with... It's very nice. No manners. No manners if you are noisy while teacher is talking. Uh, who are still talking. Uh, if I see students who have no manners, I don't like. I will not teach. Mm, very good now. Okay. So before we start addition using our textbook, I would like to tell you first the parts of addition, okay? Get ready with your uh, textbook. Here are the parts of addition, okay? So you have to turn your textbook on page 16, okay? On page 16, okay, on page 16, addition first. Okay, these are the parts of addition. The first two numbers or the numbers that you add together is called the addends. Addends, A-D-D-E-N-D-S. Four and five are called the addends. Say it again, addends. Oh, you practice, uh, don't turn on your microphone, just practice saying it. Addends. Okay. While the answer after the equality symbol is called sum. Uh, you practice saying it. Sum. Sum. Okay. Or you can say total. Total. Okay. So if teacher asked you, what is the total of three and four? The answer is seven. What is the sum of 10 and 90? The answer is 100. What is the total of 11 and one? Your answer should be 12. Okay, so these terms are very important. Okay, another question. If teacher asked you, can you give me addends of seven? Okay, can you give me the addends of seven? Okay, so here are the possible answer. It can be three and four, teacher. It can be one and six. It can be two and five. It can be four and three, three and four. Okay, so in addition, we have the word Commutative, okay? When you say commutative, four plus five and five plus four are the same. You understand? Six plus three is the same as three plus nine. In, in Thai language, salap kadai, same answer. So 10 plus one is the same as one plus 10. Okay, show me your thumbs up if you understood what I say. Okay. Now, 
Let's start with textbook. Okay, am, am I recording this already? Okay, yes, I am recording now. So those who are absent. Okay, so number one. Okay, adding two numbers. Let's start first with adding two numbers. Okay, turn your textbook on page 16. Uh, is this grade, grade, grade three? Here, grade three. On page. Okay, page 18. Okay, sip pet. Okay. Sip pet. 18. Okay. Tetas, where is your textbook? Show me. Page 18. Okay, very good. Atom, show me your textbook. Where is your textbook? Okay. And okay. Nua, where is your textbook? Okay, so where, get your pencils and then later we will answer how to add. I know you how to add because you studied this when you were still in grade one, grade two, and in kindergarten. So we need to be quick now. So look at the first example. The first example is 12,000. 524 plus, keep quiet, please. I'm not talking to you. Just listen to me. 20, stop talking, please. Plus 20. Stop talking. Five, four, three, two. Five. Um, do you understand, teacher Chris? I said stop talking. Okay, so 12,524 plus 21,152. So you can answer this way. You have to write one, two, like this. One, two, five, two, four. That's the first number, this one. Hmm. Or you can write like this, one, two, five, two, four, okay, comma, plus the second number, 21,152, so two, one, one, five, and two, so it's like this, two, one comma one five and two and then you add this is the add symbol so plus plus like this and then four plus two is six correct two plus five seven five plus one six two plus one three one plus two, three. Okay, so this one is the same as this. Okay, so four plus two is equal to six. Two plus five is seven. Five plus one is six. Two plus one is three. One plus two is three. It's 33,676. Okay. The answer is 33,676. That's how to add two numbers without grouping. Who understand? Who understand how to add? Okay. I want to see your... I want to see you raising hand who understood. 
Okay, very good. Now, let's move to the next part of our textbook, okay? Okay, number two example. Our number two example is this. 223,587 plus 34,645. So same style. This plus this. You can do this one, this one. It's called grouping. So seven plus five is 12, carry one. So I'm going to make it big, 23,587 plus 34,645. Plus, so seven plus five is 12, carry one. Okay, one plus eight, nine, plus four, 13, so it's three. So you have to carry one above five, small, small number one. One plus five, six, plus six is 12, carry one. One plus three is four. Four plus four is eight. No carry. Two plus three is five. So it's 58,232. Same as this. Okay? It's very important to write them according to their respective place value. So it should be the first line ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Okay. And how to check, how to check the answer. To check the answer, 58,232 is greater than 23,587. So this is your answer. Your answer is always greater than the addends. So these are the two addends, one and two. Okay? So the sum, the sum is always greater or bigger than the two addends. Okay, so this again. 23,587 and 34,645 are called the addends. A, D, D, A, N, addends. Okay. And 58,232 is called the sum or total, sum or total. Okay, now let's go to the next page. So adding three numbers, adding three numbers, it's on page 19. So let's have a take, let's have a closer look. Okay. So three numbers this time. So there are three addends. So we have here one addend, second addend, and the third addend. What should be the sum? So the first thing to do is you combine first step one, combine first the 
first and the second. So this is the first and the second. So four plus two is six. Five plus five is 10, carry one. One plus two is three. Three plus eight is 11. So this is the answer. You answer this first. And then after you get the answer, you copy, you copy this, okay? Step two, you copy the same answer. And then you add the third, the third number. So six plus eight, 14, carry one. One plus five, six. Three plus five, eight. One plus four, five. One plus six, seven. This is the final answer. Or if you don't want to, to follow step one and step two, you can do this. You can do like this. Look at my cursor here. I can do, okay. Wait, nah. You can you can add all together right away. Three thousand two hundred and fifty-four plus eight thousand and fifty-two plus sixty-four thousand sixty-four thousand. 558. You notice that 64 is in 10,000s place, while 8,052, the highest place value is in thousands. So you have to move like this. Move. Okay. And then you need to add. Hmm. The answer is, okay, starting from here. 8 plus 2 plus 4 is 14. Okay, 14. So I'll carry 1 over there. You imagine there is 1, 1 here, 1. Okay? So this is plus. And then 1 plus 5, 6 plus 5. 11 plus 5, 16. So this is 16, 6. Okay. Now, next, there's, you have to carry again. Carry one. Carry one here. Turn off your microphone. You listen to teacher first. 5 plus 2, 7 plus 1, it's 8. So this is eight, eight, okay? Okay, eight. So there's no carry this time. Three plus four, 11, plus four, 15. So this is 15, 15. Okay, then carry one. You have to carry one here. Oh, one plus six is seven. Seven. Mm. So the answer is one, two, three, comma, seventy five, eight hundred and sixty four. They are the same. So you can do the first method, step one and step two, if you want. Or if you are super smart, you can add the three add-ins all together. Who understood? Show me your thumbs up if you understood. Who understood? Show me your thumbs up. I want to see your thumbs up. Okay, very good. Now, uh, let's try to practice. Let's try to practice. Okay. Let's answer our next example. Okay, adding all together. Okay, so look at the textbook. 
if you cannot see the screen. Okay, four, four plus two, look at four plus two, plus eight is 14. Can you see this? I explained a while ago. Four plus two, four plus two plus eight, it's 14, carry one. One plus five, six, plus five, 11, plus five, 16, carry one. One plus two, three, plus five, eight, carry, uh, there's no carry. Three plus eight, 11, 15, carry one. One plus six, seven. So this is your final answer. So this is the same as adding together or adding all together. Adding two first or adding all together. Okay, I hope you understood. Now, turn on page 20. I want you to practice this. I will give you time to answer by yourselves first. Timer. Start now. Get your pencils. I will watch you. Okay, T-shirt is raising his hand. Okay, let me talk to T-shirt. T-shirt, do you have questions? Okay, you raise hand if you if you want to ask question to T-shirt. Pan Pan. Pan Pan uh, what do you yes. want to uh, what do you want to ask the teacher? Why yeah. do you new or what? And everyone can everyone cannot speak now. Everyone cannot speak. I cannot hear you. You cannot hear who? Me. 